morning guys welcome to today's video today is what the heck day is it like things are getting crazy around here today is wednesday it is wednesday we're getting ready to go out because we have a lot of things to do today and i am gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you why all right let's leave let's go it took us 20 minutes to get ready but we are ready i hate sophie's wearing new boots new boots that she hates I'm sorry, Molly, but we have to leave. Bye. It is windy. They said there's going to be gales. Gusts and gales and rain. Oh, my. Gusts and gales and rain. Oh, my. What shows that from, Gabby? Gusts and gales and rain. Oh, my. Um, Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Wizard oh, Wizard yay. What? I was going to say Wizard of Oz. Okay. So, anyway, we're headed off to go to the store. Because some of you guys might know, especially if you live in Canada, that this weekend is Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is earlier than in Canada. In the USA. Yeah, which makes sense because our harvest would be earlier than in like a more southern, warmer area. We harvest our crops so early, and so Thanksgiving is this weekend. And I like it better. You guys have your Thanksgiving at my birthday on my birthday on my birthday like you guys celebrate my birthday with thanksgiving like that's amazing but anyways i just like that thanksgiving is so far from christmas for us that it's like having two separate amazing holidays like i it is two separate holidays i know it is but i'm glad we don't have to like put out a thanksgiving dinner and then a christmas a couple weeks later like that's just a lot a month later so anyways we have i like that yeah. Then we have to eat more. Yeah. So we have a lot to do before we can have Thanksgiving. In Canada, they recommend that, well, the law, the actual law is you can only have 10 people inside your house. So we can either have a big Thanksgiving with all of our family and friends and do it outside, which would work for us, except for that I don't like to be cold. So we're not doing that. We're just going to be having 10 people in our house. So two, one of my sons, Kyle, my middle son and his wife are not coming. Um, they are really strict about the whole COVID thing, which you should be. They are choosing to stay home, just stay home and not go anywhere. And I respect their choice. Hey, Every time my puppy on Thanksgiving. You have to take care of your puppy on Thanksgiving. What if I want to eat and cheese? We're gonna, I have a plan for that. I have a I'm plan. I'm taking the straps off this. Nobody wears it. You know when you're a mom, when you're worried about if you're gonna get to eat because you have a baby. Use the adult size. Yeah, so what are you doing, Gabby, while we drive? So this is Gabby's mask that she loves, and I think But it it's... doesn't fit me, look. No, like, it doesn't fit her, doesn't fit. but I think it suits her. Comment below yes if you think it suits her definitely suits her so it doesn't fit so she's going to See, it falls down. what are you gonna do put straps to it she's gonna take the straps off this other map that's mask that's too big it's adult size adult size it's even it too big for me yeah only if it's man size but dad's mask is right there he wears like the same kind except for darth vader on it yeah so she's going to take those straps and hook it to her mask so that it holds it up and then i might do that to mine because i have like some nice ones that are like that too can you use that to mine yeah, I can do that to yours too. Okay, we are gonna get going. We're and tickles. We like have a lot to buy. And I've been getting some hate-ish lately for shopping all the time and buying stuff. And I just gotta say this, I'm a shopping person. You guys remember shopping Saturdays? Like I like shopping, I like buying stuff, I love the stuff. Even though it's love that makes the world go around, shopping makes me happy and it's who I am and it's not ever probably going like to change. spending money. Yeah, so do I. So I like to save. Yeah, Gabby does. Gabby likes to save and she doesn't really and care. And cheap things. Yeah, like Gabby literally couldn't care less what she has. Like she doesn't even care what she has. Like, Unless it's horses. Unless, it's, well, I mean, how many horses do you want? Three top, okay. Oh gosh. Here we go. Two tall horses. Like, I want a chino sized horse, but I have two tall horses, which is great. And one pony, and then. That's then, it? Like, one smaller pony. I want three miniatures <laughs> and thin. <laughs> Alright, so that was a dumb question. But honestly, Gabby literally, like, Sophie's like me. She loves stuff, she loves shopping. And Gabby and Sam does kind of too, but Gabby is not a shopper. She doesn't care. She didn't wear anything. Oh, okay. So this is the big thing. Long ago, when Gabby was a little girl and was really close to her dad and did a lot with her dad, they had this thing where they did music together. So Sam used to take all Gabby's favorite songs when she was really little and put them on CDs so that she could listen to them wherever we went. And our new puppy has this thing with going into where we keep all of our like 
CDs and DVDs and stuff. She keeps pulling them onto the ground. And Gabby found this bad boy this morning. It's called Gabby's Music. And we are going to get to listen and hear what Gabby's music was when she was little. What she loved. All Justin Bieber. She though. thinks it's all Justin Bieber. Because she did love Justin Bieber, boy. She I know. loved him. This is the first song, you guys. First song. Gabby's getting ready to freak out. Okay, listen. Oh my god. Right. Don't turn it up until you can actually turn it up. Okay. Yeah, it might not work. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help. It was raining Whoa. and windy. And I have energy. It was lightning outside. Like it was poisonous. Yeah, I'm just stuck. So much lightning. Anyway, so the first thing that we're gonna shop for, if you guys can hear me, pickles. Not pickles. Sophie, are you Candy. pregnant? Are you pregnant? No, I want pickles. Pickles and chocolate. That's what she's been craving. Pickles. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna shop for is for a game that we're gonna play. I'll explain when we get inside. So at most holidays, we play a game called Ramoli. At, often we do. And you're supposed to play it, if you guys are familiar, you're supposed to play it for money, like pennies. But because we always have a lot of kids, we always play it for candy. So it's like a, kind of like a gambling game that my family These loves to play. Gummies. Brooklyn loves it. These are gummies. And they're little enough to fit in there. So we're going to stock up on candy so that we can play Ramoli. Pick chocolate. So if you pick these, you got to pick more chocolate. I don't know if you guys are noticing a trend here. But it is a chocolate and... I really want these because I love Jolly, Ranch Jolly Ranchers and yeah. we need Jolly Ranchers. Alright, we need more candy, Gabby, not just chocolate. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Definitely no gum. Mmm, I love me. I love me some caramels. Oh my gosh, this is getting nuts. No suckers. Alright, let's see how many we have here. Well, these we can open, like the little Starburst. Well, there's only two in each package. All right, that's enough. You guys think that's enough for Ramoli? No. There's not enough. Because we're all right Who's now coming? for Halloween. Um, Mom, everybody? No, just our, just my own kids. Then that's enough. You think that's then enough? No, that is not enough. 90. 90. 180. 90. Nine, 90 and 90 is 180. And then another 90. And then another 90. No. It's not 90. So, it's 75. 75. So, like 500 candies. I think it's good. Unless you find something that I love. I need these for a dessert that we're going to make. I know, but these are good for Ramoli because Nick brought them in. No, so these like, are. Oh, I need those. Are those full size? No. Uh, no. Or mini? Mini. If you guys think that our Thanksgiving is going to be all about candy, mm -hmm. seems like it is. So I agree to get all these candies for our game as long as you guys acknowledge that this is our Halloween celebration as well. Okay? Only if you get these. This one, he'll love it. No, he won't. Jacob's birthday. Look at these are got six bucks for a bag nowadays. I know, but Jacob would like that one. Oh, look at that, that bag. Like five bucks. Look at that one. He would love that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ever since Gabby was a little girl, she loves pickled olives. Are you getting, or pickled onions. Are you getting them? Get them if you want them. No, I don't like them anymore. Well, you can't have sweet pickles. Are you craving sweet pickles? Are the pickles? McDonald's pickles sweet? Uh, no, they're sour. They're dill pickles. I these. What are those? Minis? Pickles. No. Are they? Already cut one. Already. Tangy cut baby dill, no garlic. You gotta have garlic. I like that. I you like these ones because I can only eat them cut up. All right, these are what I usually buy. Oh. See, this is what happens when you bring your kids. Everybody's got to say on here. pickles. Yeah, we'll get two. So this is one. Get the small one for me. All right. My girls will find a horse no matter where we go. So what I do is I make a big list on my phone and then as and then as I get it, as we pick it up, I delete it. 
Oh. oh my god, you cannot do it. <laughs> Can't do it with my left hand. Even though I say I love shopping, I hate grocery shopping. It's my least favorite thing on earth, you guys. But we got a whole cart full. It took us half the morning. $300. We are home, you guys, and I am scorched. Like, Working makes you sweat big time. Anyways, I have energy because I eat like three pick pickles. Pickles, yeah. When you don't eat sugar, uh, your body gets used to using energy differently. And then when you eat like some vegetables, it's like, yes, thank you, God. A minute when your puppy's gonna poop on the floor, and you're saying to your kid, your puppy's about to poop, run, and they walk like slower, slower than molasses. Slower than molasses. Like, I'm. The, the whole puppy thing. I want to say the whole puppy thing, two puppies at the same time and back to back is going to kill me, but actually it's been amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. It's, not that bad. it's been not that bad. Like, I Except love it. Except for her puppy is not well behaved. So, Gabby thinks that we got too hard of a puppy in Daisy. And basically, what that means is Daisy is like, like most of the puppies we've had all our, our entire life. She's a regular puppy. And Root Molly is such a different puppy. Like, she's just so easy that Gabby thinks that she's an easy Daisy's keeper. bad. But Daisy, yeah, she's an easy Daisy keeper. Leaves because she chases after leaves. And if there's she chases leaves. Daisy's not bad, though. Like, Daisy's actually better than a lot of breeds than we've had she before. Sees it, she's headed. All right. So, anyways, Gabby, what'd you get at the store today? You know, you're getting older when you start buying the air wick smelly stuff. So, are you going to plug it in? Where are you going to plug it in? My room. So, they both got one. Berry flavor. They're going to plug it in their room. Hopefully, our house doesn't start on fire because I've heard that they have started fires before. No, you just unplug it when you don't use it. Yeah, I would do that. Ooh. Smell good? What is he? Yeah. It smells like apples. Hmm. Oops. You know it's fall when we start buying air fresheners and we start getting excited about cleaning our house. During the summer, I hardly clean my house. I hardly do any cleaning because we're outside all the time. We try and take advantage of the nice well, weather because it doesn't last very long. So now it's time to pay the piper, you guys. We need to get back to cleaning our house and get ready for fall and get ready for winter and that's gonna mean a lot of decluttering so you guys know that we're gonna play this game on thanksgiving we're having our thanksgiving on sunday 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 is gonna be actually we have so much plans this weekend like we just never do anything kaylee's coming over yeah like we have a lot we have yeah it's just gonna be Come nuts in. i love watching them play right. though but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop we hate these. I love those I hate those I these love are, this. can I have uh, no we're not eating any can we try I don't I, I don't Do mind these, pills? but I don't love them. Yeah, we used yeah, to pretend they were pills. Can I so, try one thing? So, no, we're not trying one thing. We're, we're going to try them on Sunday. It's tradition. It's tradition. It is tradition. Where am I? But going? this year we're trying not to eat sugar, which is oh, well. so weird that we have this. But basically, we have some paper bags. Okay, we're trying one thing. All right, one thing. See how they suck me in, you guys? What's our tradition every year? Don't go wrong with sugar. Mm. Is this so good? Just cherry. But you know that when you don't eat sugar, it doesn't. It makes you not crave sugar. As soon as you take a bite of sugar, it not makes. You, yeah, that's sugar. the problem. Did you eat a caramel? That's I what I would have eaten too. Actually, I would have eaten a chocolate bar. All right, so we have ten people coming. Ten bags. So we have to fill all these bags equally with the exact same candies. Like you can't give one bag one kind of candy. You have to make it even. So I think oh, we I should can. sort the candy. Let's sort the candy. All I don't know. That was the stupidest thing. I Let's sort the candy, you guys. Where are we going to sort them? All right, well. Extra bags. Put them in there. I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? All right, we got all of them ready. We got 10 bags. We have 10 bags. Two, four, 
six, eight, ten. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 Sam and I are down to do chores. Chores are so easy now. We don't even have to get the grain ready yet in the morning for, for the night. It's so fast and it takes us forever to get through the grain. I almost feel like I save the money sending the boys to the other barn. If you guys aren't following us on all of our other social media, then you should maybe do that. Uh oh, did we lose the puppy? Oh crap, we lost the puppy! Daisy! There. She's at the house. She's way harder than I thought. You worry about the road because she's not like Molly. Like she's, yeah, can't bring the puppy down. Sam and I like to bring the dogs down at night when we do chores. But this is what happens. <laughs> Listen, Miss Doodle Bug. You don't get to just walk wherever you want. That is why Sophia is <laughs> taking care of her puppy. Nice try, but it's not gonna happen this time. We got your number now, Missy. Come on. Come on. Sam and I are down to do chores. It's our date night. It's our date thing. It's what we do at night when it's our date. Can you check the water? Thanks. It's our date, it's our date thing. Oh. I get the hay ready for the next day because the girls don't quite understand the concept of two flakes. Did you notice they got really fat? No. Yeah, exactly why well, I have to be in charge of the food. Especially Willow, she got so fat. And there's Molly with her beloved pylon. And Daisy making a mess over here. And Ruby being a perfect little pony puppy. Ruby being a perfect puppy. We never needed to go any further than Ruby to have a perfect puppy. Ruby can go when we ask her to. Molly goes no matter what. And Daisy, I don't know about Daisy yet. If you guys are not following us on social media, oh man, you might think that the drama has stopped on our channel and there's not very many people complaining about the things we do in social media, in Instagram, holy heck man. Somebody suggested that I ride Chino. Just ride him one time. I'm well below the weight limit. People freaked out. Like there's so much drama still. There's always a drama. But anyways, the reason I brought up the social media is because I wanted to tell you guys that a lot of people have been sending me messages asking me to update about my horse journey. So I'm gonna do that right now. So basically, don't pee on the hay. Don't eat horse poop either because you'll get me in trouble. If you do it, do it where I don't see. Basically, uh, I am still searching for a horse. Like, we're, we have another Pasofino ride coming at the end of this month. I'm so excited. Like, I've been pretty much riding the Pasofino, the Pasofinos every month, and it's been unbelievable. I feel like I learn the most when I'm out there just riding and just like figuring out what they throw at me. So I definitely still want a Pasofino. No, I don't necessarily want a Pasofino. In fact, I've broaden up my search horizon and I want any gated horse any the bigger the better like the taller the bigger the better for me that's what I want but the problem is is that like I look all the time you guys last night I probably spent two hours in bed on my phone looking for a horse and every time I finally find one that I love like I found this mare last night that is perfect for me it didn't say sold on the ad and i loved her like wait till i show you a picture of her like you guys will know why she was perfect her her marking on her face matches willow kind of and finn like she was perfect for me i was like oh my goodness maybe it's a sign so i emailed about her and she sold so like i just can't find one and i know it's just the bad like it's the bad season to be horse shopping maybe although lots of times people sell their horses in the winter i don't know I think what I have to do is put an ad up. I need to put an ad up, but I get really nervous about putting ads up places because I don't have like all the right, uh oh, puppy, come here, Daisy. Oh crap, Daisy, come here. Oh, she's going to the door. I don't, I don't know all the things. Like I don't know all the proper words and I don't want like, 
I've been so affected by like people jumping on my every word all the time that I just don't want to go on Facebook and 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 put myself out there if that makes sense. Um, hello, that is horse poop. Get out! I said don't eat it because you're gonna get me in trouble. Don't put it on the front porch. Huh. Daisy, you are a brat. Do you guys, oh, do you guys remember when we first got Daisy and I said to Sophie, I handed her to Sophie and so Sam handed her, handed her to Sophie and I said, she's yours Sophie and she's a brat? Yeah, well that is coming true. Anyway, that is the update on my horse journey. Like, I believe that my horse is out there looking for me and I know that I'll find it when it's when I'm meant to and it will come to me. But I also believe that you have to be actively looking. Like, I'm not just going to sit here and a horse is going to fall on my lap. Whoa. The light went out. Sam! Yeah. Did you turn out the light? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys had an awesome day. Even though it didn't seem like we did a lot, it was awesome for me. It was fun. I love the organizing and the shopping and the, and the planning. Close this door at night so all the raccoons and stuff don't come. Oh, you're so smart! Like, look at that, you guys. He's a thinking He's man. Less areas to go. Yeah, closes the door so the raccoons can't get in. Although I'm pretty sure if the raccoons went in, they can get in. But that is such a good thought. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks. Don't you know that you're beautiful?